Hi, welcome to SID's Tips. And yes, in my hands, I have the Google Pixel 5 phone. Got about a week ago, finally doing an open boxing. And I wasn't planning to get it, and that's because I have the Pixel 4 XL. And I was gonna wait to the next version. Well, a few weeks ago I was hiking and dropped my phone. And I cracked in that, that right in that corner there. And so frustrating, because I had a screen protector on there and also had a case but where I was hiking, there were some rocks and it just happened to hit that spot and I was so frustrated. So I could have spent $100 replacing the screen, but I decided I could still get some money for trading or I might even sell it for a little bit more. And then I'll get the five. It's got the fingerprint and better battery life. So this is my third Google Pixel phone. I generally am happy with them. And so I figured I'd get the five uh, I ended up going with the green versus the black, and uh, I did get a black case, which I'll share the one I got, but I'm also gonna get a clear case. So today we're just gonna do the open boxing, and I look forward to doing in other videos, some photos and videos just to compare, and I'll do some updated videos. So especially if you are thinking about upgrading from the Pixel 4 XL as well to the 5, then hopefully my video will help. So let's go ahead and get it opened up. And we'll compare actually the size as well. And here we go. All right, it's official now that I've got it opened up. And let's see, here we go. All right, there she is. Let's see, it's got a nice, interesting texture on the back. Now, one of the things, by the way, which also was frustrating, I actually cracked the back of the phone and they had to replace that. So that's frustrating. With this, it doesn't look like I'll have to worry about the back, but this will give you an idea on size from going to the 4XL to the 5. And there you go, I'll take that, let me take this off now. So there you go, look at the, the difference there. And the buttons, and give you a, a difference there on the buttons. Uh, and then, on the bottom. So, man, that is definitely gonna take a little bit getting used to the smaller size. So, that's okay. So let's just talk a, a moment about the, the back between the 4XL and the 5. It's very slick on the back. And again, I cracked the back screen. With the 5, I do like that. It's got a rubberized feel to it. So, holding it here in my hand, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip. So, if you're one that doesn't use a case, I do like the fact that it's got this nice texture to it. And I definitely, for me, that's nice. And again, it will be really nice to have the fingerprint. So nice improvement, I think, uh, over the 4XL there. Feeling better in my hand where I can grip it and it doesn't feel like it's going to slip and slide out of my hand. Now let's also just take a look, see what else is in the box. So there's the instruction. So now I got to set up the phone and there is the SIM. It's got the, uh, the thing for the SIM. So that has the instructions there. And then the instructions for setting up my new Pixel. And then just like the other Pixels, you get the power adapter, the cable. And then this is a USB to type C adapter. And that is what's in the box. Now, in addition, um, which I'll put a link to as well, and one thing I, I do recommend, if you are going to get the Pixel phone directly from Google, I'd invest that $150 because um, if you do have an issue and you don't break it, but it's malfunctioning, they're just great to work with that way. I have found, I've gotten that on the last phones and they're just so much easier to work with. Plus you, if you do drop your phone, you're covered uh, for insurance. Now it's more expensive, it seems, on the 5 than it was on the 4XL. So if I crack my screen on the 5 and I hope I gotta be very careful because I'm a little uh, rough on my phones. I sometimes drop them. Uh, then it's, I think, oh, it's 149 with the deductible. So it's it's gone up from 99 to 149. So I went with the Spigen case. This is the case, the Rugged Armor. This is. Uh, this is a very popular version. Let me put the screen protector down. I'll share that with you in a minute. So I ended up going with the Spigen and the Rugged Armor. 
And there you go. So that fits nicely inside the case and you can see it's raised a bit. Um, it seems that the buttons line up. Well, you can see I'm clumsy with my bones. And there you go. See so you got the buttons. Everything is clear on the bottom. So you can see the green there, obviously. Um, and then the green on the back with the fingerprint. That is going to be nice. So then for the screen protector, I ended up going with this one, which is the uh, Omaton. So I was reading a lot of reviews on these. So I was getting mixed review, uh, mixed uh, signals from different uh, ones that are out there, but this one seemed to have the best reviews. And so I'm gonna set that up uh, and I will do a video of me putting that on my phone. And then I'm gonna get my phone set up and I will do other videos just sharing with you the difference again between the Pixel 4 XL and now the 5 with the videos and also the photos. And then what I'll do is I'll even leave myself a voicemail test so you can hear that as well. So there you go. Um, you know, I definitely will have to get used to the smaller phone. And one last look between the two sizes. All right, everybody, that is it for my open boxing, my initial thoughts. Uh, if you have the five and any tips you might have, leave any comments there below and any other thoughts on the phone as well. So I'm excited, gonna go ahead and get it set up and I look forward to giving you the update once I do the photos and videos. We'll see you on the next video, take care.